today we're going to learn how to play algebra horse. You probably already know how to play horse with a basketball. One person takes a shot from wherever they want on the court. If they make it, the other player has to make the shot as well or get H. Once a player has all five letters in horse, so as an example of keeping score, this is a game where I might have missed four times. So I have an H, an O, an R, and an S. I miss it this time, I lose, and Alice wins. Cool. So for algebra horse, instead of a basketball, all you're going to need is a piece of paper with three boxes drawn on it and a deck of cards with all of the face cards removed. No basketball. So this is how it's going to work. Player one, in this case, that will be Luke. Player one is going to pull three cards and write them down in order in their boxes. Okay, here's the cards I am pulling. Now, a five. Okay. An eight. And, and a three. three. Okay. So, so you see, I wrote those in my boxes as Luke was pulling them. So in my head, I am writing a number that a uh, number sentence that Alex is going to have to solve. So Alex, the result I got with this number sentence is negative nine. Negative nine. Okay. So it's now Alex's job to take a shot. She will secretly use those three numbers as well to try and make my number sentence. She only gets to show me one solution. So if she's trying other ones out, we'll show you what it looks like to think through. Okay, so I think that I have it. You want the answer first, Luke? Uh, yeah, show me. Why don't you show me both solutions, but I know that you've got the right one. Okay, so the first thing that I tried was five plus eight times three. And if I follow order of operations, I know that I need to do multiplication first. So eight times three is 24, and five plus 24 is 29. So that was not right. So then I tried something else because that didn't get me to negative nine. So next, I put in some parentheses and changed to subtraction. So I know I need to do parentheses first. So five minus eight is actually gonna give me negative three and then I can multiply and negative three times three is negative nine. So I think your number sentence was parentheses five minus eight times three. You're correct. And if you hadn't had the parentheses, it would have been incorrect. So really nice catch. So. Yay. Okay. Right, so no cool. letter for you. No so letter for me. It's your turn. Cool. Okay. Now I'm going to draw three cards. I have a nine, a nine, and a six. So nine, nine, six. And in this game, we're going to allow the use of fractions. So let me think about it. it mm -hmm. You can make this game pretty hard. So my answer is one sixth. Okay, Jimmy, we're gonna pause. We're gonna go off the camera for just a second. I'm gonna get 30 seconds to try solutions and then we'll be right back. And we're back. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Alex, I couldn't get it. So here's the solutions I tried. I first started, uh, did nine minus nine divided by six. Mm -hmm. um, nine divided by six is nine six or one and a half. And nine minus one and a half is seven and three six. That wasn't right. It's not it. So then I tried to, I threw some parentheses in and just tried some additional multiplication. I got a number that was way too big. So I tried to do division 10 to nine divided by nine with one. But one minus six is negative five, so that number is small. So show me your solution. So I actually did nine divided by nine divided by six. So if you go straight across, because it's all division, nine divided by nine is one, and then one divided by six, we could also write as one over six, and we don't even need to simplify it because it's already a fraction, its own fraction simplified, one six. Okay, that so means I have an H. You didn't get it, so you would get an H at the top of your paper, and we would keep going until one person made the whole word, and unfortunately, the person who makes the whole word horse first 
loses, but you can always play again. Um, you could always shorten or lengthen the word too, depending on how long you want to play and to make things, um, you could add cards to make things more or less challenging. You can also, if you really want to take it up a notch, you can make red cards negative and black cards positive. Um, yeah, step up the challenge level. So that's all. Have fun playing, y'all. Have fun.